Hi guys, um, I'm playing the Heads Up Tournament, and first round I'm playing Rain Khan, uh, fellow Poker Stars Online. He's a pro, very good tournament player. Um, someone I'm uh, well acquainted with, and um, you know, I thought this would be a good spot to record. Heads up, Let's see how it goes. So I called a position of King Ten, flop top pair. That's call. I don't really have much experience in rain. I don't really know much about his play, but given that I know he's a good player, I can kind of make some um, pretty good generalizations, I think. I'm going to value bet here. And, uh, yep. He folds. I'm going to raise queen 3 off 7 button. Flop comes raggedy. Uh, I'm gonna check the flop. Seems like it's a board that would hit him decently well. And he fires. I don't have much equity. Um, I'm just gonna give it up. Play the next hand. <coughs> King 7 offsuits. It's good enough to play out of position for a min race. Um, it makes pretty decent pairs. Stuff like that. He bets the flop. I'm gonna call my gut shot. Um, I might have the best hand. I have outs to um, imply it. reverse implied outs for him because if he hits an ace, or he only hits a six, he could have a straight somehow, or like a two. Actually, a two. I meant if I had a six, so a seven. Never mind, but um, uh, yeah, like I said, I'm. I'm gonna try to feel him out. I don't really know much about his play. I didn't watch him play the World Series of Poker um, when he was on TV. But yeah, I'm gonna continuation with the flop. Let's try board. Um, we just started the match just recently, so I don't really know how aggressive he is and stuff like that. For now, um, situation he's not repping very much, but uh, given this my hand and how much stack we have left um, I don't feel like I want to make a raise right here or try to play out play him right now because if I'm wrong I'm going to be put in a situation where I have <coughs> a very small stack size uh, and I won't have very much room to play anymore I am playing um, three other tournaments at the same time at the moment so, you know, clicks and noises, you know, understand why. But I'm going to keep the focus on this heads up tournament and hopefully give a good recording. I checked down ace5, you know, just, uh, he's checking it down. Hopefully, I just got my decent showdown value works out for me. Um, you know, here's the structure, or, you know, there's 282 players, there's a prize pool, just in case you want to with the senses. King nine offs, uh, king nine suited at call position. Um, even better than king seven offs, it just makes more pairs and stuff like this. Here, I'm gonna call. I have king high. I'm very likely to be best hand. Um, got backdoor potential. Stuff like that. Turn to king of hearts, which is top pair. And uh, now I'm not gonna value bet this river because I don't. Find it, I find it very hard for him to believe I have a bluff in this situation if I was to um, uh, bet the reverse. So I don't think he'd call a force very often, like a 10 or something, because given the board right now, I would have to have called out of position with like a pure flow or like some naked three, uh, one of those gut shots. Right now, it seems like a relatively even match, you know, he's uh, won a lot of pots. I mean, we've won around the same amount of pots, but he's got a little bit more chips than me. It's not much to say, uh, we just gotta continue and hope it runs well. I'm gonna raise a lot of buttons. Position, heads up poker. And he's a player that I suspect doesn't want to play too many um, pots out of position. Um, just what I suspect from, this, from him. So I can get away with uh, raising more buttons in position, having him just fold. Not have to play a weekend out of position. 
I re-raised Ajax and got shut down. Uh, can't call for all my chips. Uh, okay. Um, 210. Like I said, I'm gonna raise a lot in position right now. It doesn't really seem like he's calling out of position too much, so I'm gonna just try and take the blind. You know, I'm, I'm putting in the minimum. I'm getting a good price to take the blinds. Stuff like that. I flop it up over cards and uh, gut shot straight draw. If I hit the gut shot, definitely huge refers to flight odds for him if he has a straight as well, especially. So I'm going to call here. I'm going to let that situation be potentially happen. And um, I'm going to hit top pair and maybe like just check it down or something. Stuff like that. Here, I'm going to do something weird. I'm going to mend that here. I do not think he, um, uh, you know, I thought he, you know, he might have a pair, he might just be curious and just call it 20 chips, it's likely I have the best hand given the board run out, um, also block bets it a little bit, but, um, wasn't much, uh, needed discussion, I think, for that situation. Pocket sevens. Uh, good pair. Uh, well, right now we're sitting on about 50 big blinds, so you know, re-raising, getting maybe okay. Uh, I'm gonna choose to play in our flop and uh, go from there. King 10 4. I expect them to think this is a pretty solid uh, spot to see that. I check call flop and go from there. You know, two over cards, two mini undercards for a mid raise. It's very likely he's just gonna. Continuation bet to spot a lot, expecting me to fold anything that just doesn't connect. Um, which is a lot of the hands out there, you know, like an 8 high, 7 high, 6 high, stuff like that. Um, close the door. So, you know, right now he's kind of grinding me down a little bit in a weird way because it doesn't really seem like he's running me over anything. He's just, um, Winning all the pots that go show that showdown for like you know, 80 to 90 chips at a time, so it's just adding up right now because he's won the majority of those. Hopefully, we can turn it around though. Um, my flop open ended, and he raises. Um, this is a spot where I can easily, um, you know, just try and get this in right now because I don't think he'd raise. I'm gonna go all in. I don't think he'd raise here with five too often, just given how unlikely it hits me. He's raising because it looks like, um, you know, it looks like it doesn't hit my board. It's continuation bet a lot. He knows that I can't really put too much. You know, if I want to put a rebluff in here, it's gonna be um, a lot of my chips. And if, if I'm wrong, like I said earlier, I will have no room to play. So I chose to go all in right there, you know, there's no flush on the board, there's not really many hands he can really go with on the flop unless he's making something kind of like ace three, you know, ace three type play or something. But given we don't have much history with each other, I can't really expect him to do that. So it was just looking like he was trying to pick up the chips in some way. Um, just because he probably notices I'm raising a lot of buttons, uh, continuation betting a lot, stuff like that. So, you know, uh, I want like last five out of six pots, catching up a little bit. Let's see how it goes. Uh, 